A team of paleoanthropologists, led by Christopher J. Bay from the University of Hawaii at Manoa and Shoujia Wu from the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, has introduced Homo jiluensis, a newly identified hominin species. This species, whose name translates to big head, thrived in Eastern Asia between 300,000 and 50,000 years ago, marking a significant addition to the late Quaternary human lineage. The introduction of Homo jiluensis builds on decades of research into Asia's hominin fossil record. The findings provide a clearer understanding of the diversity and complexity of ancient human species that coexisted during the Middle and Late Pleistocene epochs. Homo jiluensis is defined by a mix of features found in fossils from sites such as Zujiayo and Xuchang in northern and central China. The fossils include large crania with thick skulls, traits reminiscent of Neanderthals, as well as characteristics shared with modern humans and Denisovans. The species is thought to have been skilled in making stone tools, processing animal hides, and hunting wild horses, which likely contributed to their survival in challenging environments. For years, paleoanthropologists have grappled with the so-called muddle in the middle, a term describing the confusion surrounding the classification of middle Pleistocene hominin fossils. Many specimens were grouped into broad categories like archaic Homo sapiens or middle Pleistocene Homo. However, Bay and Wu's work proposes a more nuanced taxonomy, suggesting that Eastern Asia hosted at least four distinct hominin species, Homo floriensis, Homo lusinensis, Homo longi, and the newly named Homo jiluensis. In a May 2024 study, Bay and Wu argued that fossils previously categorized as belonging to Denisovans, including remains from Tibet, Taiwan, and Laos, could also belong to Homo jiluensis. This hypothesis is based on similarities in jaw and teeth structures among fossils from these regions. The research team emphasized that naming Homo jiluensis is not merely about taxonomy but about improving science communication. This study clarifies a hominin fossil record that has tended to include anything that cannot easily be assigned to Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis, or Homo sapiens, they explained in a press release. Ultimately, this should help with science communication. In a commentary in Nature Communications, Bay and Wu highlighted the importance of new terminology for understanding evolutionary models. Thanks largely to a growing hominin fossil record, the field of late Quaternary Eastern Asian paleoanthropology is contributing tremendously to how we view and refine these models, they wrote. Homo jiluensis challenges unilineal evolutionary models. According to the researchers, the Eastern Asian fossil record underscores the need to revise traditional interpretations of human evolution to reflect the diversity and hybridization events revealed by recent findings. The discovery of Homo jiluensis marks a significant step forward in unraveling the intricate web of human ancestry.